Dad? Dad? What is it? I don't like this place. When can we go home? I've told you before. Not yet. Not until Ralph returns. But it's been gone for days. What happens if he doesn't come back? He must. Dad, please tell me what's going on. What's in that safe upstairs is a note we have spent years trying to decode. And at last I have finally managed to reveal its ancient secrets. It's imperative that Rolf finds out what it says, so until then we will not set one foot outside of this house. Well, he must come soon. This place is so empty and so old. It doesn't feel right. Hello? 
you get back inside now. I solved it. Dad, who is that? And what does he want? Son, you have a gift. You must protect it now, Ron. Run as far away from here as you can.
Excuse me, are you the manager? Yes, I'm Pablo. Can I help? Uh, uh, yes, I'm John Parker. We spoke on the phone. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to Terra Hotel. I hope your stay last night wasn't too bad. If I knew you were coming so soon, I would have prepared at your suite earlier. Oh, uh, don't worry. The room was just fine. So, what have you heard about the hotel so far? Not much at all. Um, an old man in the local pub on the mainland, he, uh, he said that this place is a paranormal hotspot, uh, but he didn't get into specifics. Well, he happens to be right. I have been in charge of the Terra Hotel for three and a half years and am convinced that the paranormal exists as you will come to see. Many guests who have stayed here over the years report strange and inexplicable events taking place all over the hotel and its grounds. Even the staff had had their fair share of sightings. Well, it's, uh, it's a good job I found this place. It sure is. Even if you're not able to rid my hotel of these spirits, at least you can get some real proof of their existence and possibly make my hotel famous in the process. I'll do my best. Well, why don't we start with a tour of the hotel, and then I'll show you your suite. I hope you have a good sense of direction. This hotel is gargantuan. This hotel is fairly new. It was constructed only about 11 years ago in nine stages. It's built upon an old mine that shut down many years ago. Life in the mines back then was hell. Many people are suspected to have died while trying to hit deadlines. Pablo, it's possible that these are the spirits that haunt your hotel. And I don't think they're happy. Well, that's our theory. The hotel has 356 rooms in total, and a wide variety of facilities such as pools, game rooms, a large dining room, and even a library. We have had all sorts of elite people stay here, millionaires, celebrities, geniuses, actors, politicians, Zionists, and even presidents. Have any of them witnessed the strange occurrences that happened here? Oh boy, yeah, no one leaves here without experience, it's something out of the ordinary. The hotel is three stories tall, with an attic and basement, so there's plenty of places for you to investigate. Yeah, um, is it possible for me to set up cameras in these corridors? Of course, so don't let me impede your investigation. So, how long do you plan on staying, John? Well, it all depends on what evidence I find. If what you say is true, then I guess I'll be here for a while, documenting on all these occurrences and attempting to remove them. And with such a big hotel, it, it will take a while to set up and pack down all of the equipment. Over here you can find most of the offices. My office is right here as well, so if you need me for anything, I'll most likely be here. At the end of this corridor, we have the conference center. It isn't used that regularly, but when it is, it's quite the occasion. We've had the board of directors from large corporations around the world hold meetings here, such as Half Corp and the Rockefeller Foundation. We've even hosted the G8 Summit, the League of Nations, and the Trilateral. Wow, this hotel seems very popular. I'm just proud to call it my own. Maybe come this way. We are now entering the north wing of the hotel, where a bulk of the rooms are located. Where would you say the most paranormally active place is? 
there is no one spot that stands out for me. Sightings are seen all over the hotel on their every floor. There is also many sightings seen in the surrounding forests, which I will get to later. Here is the Terra Casino, a fully equipped casino floor for all the gamblers we have out here. I had no idea this place had a casino. How do you think we attract so many of the lead? The casino was designed by a Swedish architect and was built just seven months ago. It's got almost every game you can think of. Poker, blackjack, craps, baccarat, pontoon, roulette. You name it. It's even got the slots. It's like a tiny version of Las Vegas in here. Do you gamble, Mr. Parker? No, sir, I don't. <laughs> well, that's good, because the casino isn't open at the moment anyway, but there's nothing stopping you from investigating here if you wish. Right this way, Mr. Parker. Can I ask a quick question? Of course, John. As we've been walking around the hotel, I haven't seen any guests, staff, or anyone. What's going on? Where is everyone? I was just getting to that. You see, I have allowed a team of archaeological diggers to set up an excavation site just around the back of the hotel. They said something about an ancient artifacts being buried around the island. They have been here for the past two weeks. Due to the noise pollution and constant vehicles entering and leaving the premises with soil and tools, we've had no choice but to close down for the time being. There are no guests staying at the hotel and will be none until at least a few more weeks. There is also very few staff around. That's what makes this an opportune time for you to conduct your investigation. You will have free access to nearly all of the hotel and no guests to bother you. I agree. In fact, we're heading there now so you can see for yourself. Over here is the site itself. As you can see, a few of the archaeologists are at work now. It's bigger than I thought. Have they found anything yet? Uh, nothing yet as far as I'm aware. Well, just be careful you don't dig up anyone's grave. So John, how did you get into the world of paranormal investigation? My father. He was, uh, he was a paranormal investigator. He was at a cottage investigating a haunting one day, and it turned out he was trying to uncover the truth about the legend of Herobrine. But he was in over his head. The cottage burned down, and he died in the fire. I was only a child at the time, but um, ever since then I followed in his footsteps. I hope to one day find out what really killed my father. That's quite a story. It's good how you're trying to carry on your father's legacy, but it's funny how you mentioned Harrow, Brian. How so? Well, some of the apparitions that have been sighted here over the years are often described as wearing blue clothing and have no noticeable facial features except two bright white eyes, no pupils, or nothing. What's even stranger is that there are are even reports as far back as the time when the mine was here in the full surface about odd shaped tunnels going far back into the rock yet the miners are sure they didn't dig it themselves spooky i know uh here's the hotel's library very nice you can come here anytime you want for casual reading but there are books here all to do with the history of the hotel and even the old mines below it Good. Um, I'll be sure to come back here soon then.
I still can't believe how big this place is. Don't worry, John. You will get used to it. This is our games room. Unlike the casino, this is open to anyone to use 24-7. So feel free to stop by here if you wish. We have pool, cards, card game, you name it. The hotel was built using wood from the surrounding forests and supports the environment that we played. As you can see, the site is littered with logging huts and tool sheds. Yes, I saw some of them on the way in. One of the groundkeepers said that they saw lighting coming from these huts. Some of them are old and not used anymore. They don't even have electricity running through them, so the source of light is unknown. Huh. How bizarre. Uh, these could be orbs. Orbs? They are said to be the visual manifestation. Those are the tool sheds where we keep all of our gardening and cutting equipment. This is uh, quite a secluded clearing. It must get dark here at night. It does, so I wouldn't advise coming here after hours. However, over there is a path leading deep into the forest. It's good if you wish to take an evening stroll. I might check out what's down there tonight. This is the Gordillion Room, one of the biggest rooms in the hotel and certainly one of the grandest. This room is incredible. I can see why people would want to stay here. The Gordillion Room is usually open 24 hours a day for all three meals and more. We even serve mid-afternoon tea. Due to the limited staff, the room is closed. However, you are allowed to eat in here and use the bar yourself. Is it okay with you if I set some cameras in here? Yeah, no problem at all. Here's the kitchen. It may look small, but there's even more of it underneath us. Your suite does have cooking facilities, but you may cook your own food here if you feel like it. Has there been any sightings around this part of the hotel? In the dining room, people often see figures walking out of the door at the far side of the room, and sometimes even hear strange voices. Some of the cooks in this kitchen have come into here in the early morning to start preparing the next day's meal, to find all of the oven doors open and cooking utensils all over the floor like someone had robbed the place. The strange thing is though, is that all the doors are locked, except the ones going into the basement. The basement? I bet there's a lot of sightings down there. Well, actually, we don't really tend to go down there. It's mostly boilers and storage rooms. I don't want you going down there though, is that okay? You're the boss. Besides, I have enough to explore as it is. Yes, you've got your work cut out for you. Well, now that we are done here, I think I will show you the best room in the hotel. Really? A, a room more appealing than the Gordon room? Wait till you see. Lose the rosin and build up the hedge a bit more. Okay. Just down here, John. This, John, is the Rosenberg Lounge. What's an extravagant room? This mahogany must have cost a fortune. This and the Gordillion room are the most expensive parts of the hotel. Well, whoever made it has a real creative talent. I could get used to living here. I'm glad you like it. In fact, I was thinking as there are no guests around, this room won't be in use, so you can use it as your control hub. 
It's very large and there's plenty of table space as well as the nice warm fire. I think that's a great idea. It's got access to most of the wings of the hotel and I do have quite a lot of monitoring equipment so I'll need all the tables I can get. It's also right next to where you'll be staying, the staff wing. So that will be nice and convenient. This section of the hotel is the staff wing. The rooms here are suites and so are much bigger than the regular rooms. This is where you'll be staying. Down there is access back to the rest of the hotel. Up these are stairs to your suite. Okay, lead the way. I'm afraid your suite is on the third floor, so you will have to take a quite a bit of hike to get from here to the rest of the hotel. Oh, that's not a problem. I like walking. Just like the rest of this hotel, this wing will be quiet and free of guests. Any paranormal events happen in this part of the hotel? I actually had an experience here before. I was at the bottom floor and heard voices. When I looked up the light shaft, I saw someone at the top of the stairs. When I went up to see who it was, there was no one at the top. Might be a good place to put a camera. And so, here's your suite, number 39. Here's the kitchen, living room, and around the corner is the bedroom. It's got everything you need. This is perfect. Plenty of space, and much better than last night. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. You are a guest here. The tour is over, so make yourself at home. I will have one of the concierges bring your bags up for you. Thanks again for everything you're doing for me, Pablo. If it's alright with you, I'd like to start setting up my equipment. That's fine with me. If you need me for anything, you can find me in my office.
Ah. Didn't mean to startle you. I thought I was alone in here. Who are you? You were. I just came in. I'm staying here for a few days to relax. I heard you're a paranormal investigator looking for ghosts in this hotel. That's correct. You might have seen some of my equipment set up around the corridors. Have you caught anything on tape yet? No, I've just got here. Be careful, John. Make sure you stay safe. I know what I'm doing. Good morning, Mr. Parker. Morning, Pablo. Good news. It appears the archaeologists have stumbled upon something whilst digging. Take a look. Hmm, this should be interesting. I woke up to the morning of the sound of the head archaeologist knocking on my door. They were digging deeper and cracked through into some kind of tunnel. Is it possible it's one of the old mine shafts? No, it's too close to the surface. There are lots of natural caves around these moors, but this one doesn't look natural. How peculiar. What's even stranger is what's at the other end. You've already been down there? Take a look. There's no way this can be natural. It's way too ordered. It looks as if it's been dug by someone. But how? And why? Jesus! Graves? This just raises more questions. I'm as perplexed as you are. I've looked through the old files we have about the mine shafts here, and these two names do show up on the employee register. However, without second names and dates, there's no way to be sure. Also, the bodies of the miners that were recovered were never buried in the mine shaft itself. Unless someone didn't want anyone to find out. You think it might be a murder? People kill for all kinds of reasons. Profit, power, money, land, fear. Either way, at least it gives us another reason to investigate the hotel. I would like to take a look at that employee register. Just go to the library. There's an abundance of archives and logs in the historical section. Ah! It's just bad. Scared the life out of me. They just want to get out of here. And quite frankly, so do I. I'm right behind you. This storm came out of nowhere.
God! Sorry to scare you. It's me. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, how's your stay? Fine. How's the investigation? It's intriguing, to say the least. You need to stop. Excuse me? You're not safe. What? Go into room 33. What's in room 33? Crap. I, I need to go and fix that.
God. Pablo. Pablo. Pablo, are you in there?
Lord. How did I get myself into this? What happened, Dad? Ha! How did you really die? Is that why I was drawn here? Are you calling out to me? There's no suspicion anymore. We are dealing with Herobrine. John, what you caught on tape and what you found in the attic is astounding. No, it's more than astounding, it's proof. But Pablo, I don't understand how you didn't know there was a beacon up there. I don't intend to go up there in the first place. It's just storage for old things. But my staff go up there sometimes, and they haven't said anything about it. But, now that you've put it out, will these hauntings stop? In my father's old notes, he said he put out the beacon, and he even locked it away. Shortly after, he and Steve were killed, and the cottage burned to the ground. Well, what can we do? I just can't figure out what's really going on here. I realize this isn't a regular haunting, but what do you mean? I came here to try and find out what happened to my father. But I feel as if I'm just raising more questions than answers. I feel as if I'm in over my head. But isn't this what investigation is about? What would your father do? It's getting too much for me. It might leave in a few days.
What I experienced last night was terrifying. I've never seen such intense paranormal events like this before. Herobrine is no ghost. He's some kind of malevolent demon. I can't believe this energy is so strong. No one, literally no one has ever had an encounter with him that strong. It's like he wants something from you. It was the same with my father. Except it killed him much sooner. I don't know why it hasn't done the same to me yet. I wouldn't be asking those kinds of questions if I were you. We need to focus on how we are going to get rid of him. Pablo, I'm staying until this is over. I've got to see this through. The only way to avenge my father's death is to send Herobrine to the darkest depths of hell, where he belongs. But I'm going to need to set up cameras in the basement. I know you don't want me in there, but we don't really have a choice. He's very active down there. Fine, but you won't be able to put one in the freezer. The doors are jammed shut, and no one can seem to open it. Right then. I've got more tech to set up.
my god. footage. It's, it's real. Wait, but, but that means... There must be something we can do. Hero Brian's power is astronomical, but we must stop him. If we don't, he could become too powerful to ever contain. As Hero Brian gets stronger, it appears the other spirits here are also. He's not the only one we should be worried about. Of course, you need to get rid of them just as much. What have you done on previous investigations? What did your father do? I've never dealt with something this strong before. I'm well aware we need to stop him, and I'm determined to do so. Then we need a plan of action. The way I see it, 
There's only one option left. A seance? Isn't that what killed your father? Yes, but something's telling me that if Herobrine wanted me dead, he would have done it already. This is what my dad was going to do, so it has to work. And we are right where the beacon was, so this is the best place to do it. Then let's get this over with. Calling out to all spirits that are here. Leave this place now, or feel the wrath of God. What now? Shh. I think I hear something. I can't hear anything. Turn that damn thing off. Now what? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? That's all that was in my father's footage. Well then let's get out of here, I don't like this. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to find those manifests that I need. I know they're up here somewhere. Okay, uh, are you sure you'll be alright on your own? I'll be quite fine.
are you? What you want? What's going on? Dad? I can help you. Go through the grave. Through the graves? Daylight. Dad, it really is you, isn't it? What is it you're trying to tell me? What do you want me to find, Dad? This is what you wanted me to find? Thank you, Father.
Pablo. John, what is it? I think I found a way to stop him. This. What is that? It's a book. I found it at the ruins of Ivy Cottage, the place my father died. This island. It must have belonged to my father. He had all sorts of books concerning the paranormal and secret cults in this investigation trailer. Why didn't he use it when he had the chance? I don't think he ever got the chance. I think the spirit of my father is helping me. He now knows what he did wrong and how to stop Herobrine, which is what he set out to do in the first place. It's him who led me to this hotel in the first place. That's no coincidence. Well, what does the book say? I'm still not sure yet. I know it says something about how to banish evil demons who use the souls of the dead to gain power. But it's written in that cult's language, and I'm currently trying to translate. I just don't understand this. Are we hallucinating? No, these pictures are proof enough. What about what we saw? Herobrine was right there. I think he's helping us. He's holding him back. It sure looks that way. I don't think we have much time. I'm going to finish translating this book tonight. So tomorrow, we'll be ready.
what the? How am I here? No, stay back! Be gone! Don't go to it! There! Absente! The Septum Pyramid of Oculus Mortis! Look, he's more powerful now. No, oh, no. How can I escape? Beacon!